Outliers are another interesting area of data quality where rules don't always hold up or maybe make the most sense at scale. So I'm gonna show a quick example of when and why to turn on outlier detection for anomalies. This is the outliers tab in OWL that I'll be focusing on. And the use case in this case is stock data. So anything that has a price or a value of a quantity and any feature be could become an outlier, but column level outliers probably don't make sense and static rules probably aren't going to find the really interesting insights. So if I come over to the Explorer page and pick Postgres on AWS, navigate into the public schema and pick New York Stock Exchange data, I can quickly see that um, Al recognizes it and I'm gonna select the date. This is end of day stock data and I can see that show up here and I will select this and navigate over to the outlier section. How I would set up an outlier would be to turn it on, click add. Owl does support multiple different outlier dimensions if uh, once we get to that in a later session. But in this case, there's probably a key like symbol. And this tells me to learn all the symbols in a distributed paralyzed case. I'm gonna turn on outlier detection for all columns. Um, this is time series data technically because it is stock data over time. So I'll pick this as my date column. We can see that's changed the look back period, the window in time of which it'll learn. I'll turn on categorical outliers. That'll go beyond numerics and also be testing string values to see if this stock symbol trades on this exchange or other really interesting combinations. Hit save and I will hit run. And when I come over to the insight screen, I can now see the light blue section is detecting outliers over time. It has figured out that these are weekends and these are holidays and strange behaviors have happened. But ultimately, I'm going to stay focused on just outliers for this case. Drill into the outliers tab, expand it so I can kind of get a, a deeper view here. And it has detected that Kodak is trading unusual this day. It actually turns out there was a fake news event about Kodak coin. It's an interesting story if you look this up. And Al caught it with no knowledge that this is stock data or symbols or whatnot. It's just traditional outlier detection. And we can see a steep change in slope across the price. And it goes back and creates a sort of lineage in time or a buildup of how it arrived at this answer. So we don't have to do any more analytics and try to discover if this is real or not. It was continually trading around $3.05, $3.10, give or take a variation of five cents or so. And then all of a sudden, $12.50. And Al found this to be uh, sort of strange for its past behavior.